So through all that sifting, that's what I got. Now I just have to go ahead and Hey guys, welcome to an episode of the Argarian Skies. We're in episode seven today, I believe. Yeah, episode seven. And yeah, this is going quite well, but I'm getting quite I'm getting quite irritated over the slow progress of having to sift through all these metals, trying to get everything that I need and everything else like that. So what I thought I was gonna go go do today is to, you know, automate that process, automate the sifting process, automate the breaking of the ores. And yeah, I've been talking to some people about it. And I was looking at what I have in the way of stock of items. And I was looking at the not the bath, the that was that was way earlier. The autonomous activator. I see it requires like emeralds, uh, invar, and the diamonds. So I was counting up my diamonds. I can make it at least enough autonomous activators for what I need. I can make all the things I need to make. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can get ores out of the wazoo. So once I get ores, I mean, to me, I think the major thing I have against me right now on a skyblock map like this is the inability to have enough ores. So I'm going to take a quick camera break. Actually, no, let's not take a break yet. Let's go ahead and craft some of these autonomous activators just to show you just how annoying it is. So like I showed you before, it's two emeralds, two invar, and two diamonds. As far as invar, oh, I have seven. I need one more invar. The best way I find to get Envar is uh, one iron ingot and what was it? It was one ferrous ingot. No, it was two iron to one ferrous, and you get three ingots. Now the normal crafting recipe. Let me get and play some more music because music is awesome. Where'd my plan go. There it goes. Let's go ahead and play our next song on the list here. There you go. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves some of the stuff. Normally you would have to pulverize it. I'm gonna get rid of this your copper as you put this in. Normally you would have to pulverize it because of the power of the smeltery. You just put it in and melts it, puts it together, and then you get ferrous. I figured that out on accident earlier. Let's just say I was um just threw everything into my smeltery and say, hey, I'm gonna use this for doubling my ores, and I threw it all in there, and all of a sudden I got all this weird metal back, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this stuff? And then I realized, oh. It's mixing the ores from other mods as opposed to what it's normally supposed to mix for its own mod. So I find that really cool. Now let me just eat this here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at some things which I've done. I don't know if I remember showing you guys this here wheat farm, but I have a wheat farm now. Uh, that was my previous farm from previous episodes. This is my tree farm, how it is right now. Let's go ahead and I've expanded it, my animal farm by one square but I don't have enough dirt yet and get some shears I've been growing my cows they've been growing good uh, I should have brought some wheat with me I still have one sheep I've been shearing him I don't have any shears on me but I've got one dirt in this next pen which is going to be for I think it was pigs yeah I'm gonna have pigs over there once I get the pigs done then I'm going to do in the other corner there a automated like a collection system thing using hoppers and uh I think I'm gonna go iron chest, if not diamonds, for holding all the eggs, because I will need all those eggs eventually, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. I might just use normal chest. So I believe that's done. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some chests. So let me just go. That should be enough. Do all that. Bring you. Just wanted to make ourselves four autonomous activators. So we just put the chest. I think the chest was on top. Was that right? Chest on top. Yeah, chest on top. Next, we gotta get ourselves some pistons, and so we need, to need some redstone. I need one more redstone. Thank you. We're going to need iron. About four iron. We're going to need. Let's just go ahead and start slamming this in here. We're gonna need ourselves some cobblestone. We're going to need ourselves. So we'll just take a take a stack of it. I get like unlimited cobblestone. That's so much nice for getting cobblestone. I use that for getting gravel, but we're gonna automate that process too with this whole entire system. Where's my door? Get, let me in. Thank you. So we just get take our uh, cobble, like so. Where's my wood? I need more wood. Whoa, no, not that much wood. There we go. That's better. 
Go ahead and put this in our crafting square. Boom. Across. Got four pistons. Pistons, I believe, go underneath it. Is that right? Yeah, like so. Now we gotta get ourselves our diamonds. I have enough diamonds for this and emeralds. Mainly diamonds is my biggest worry right now. What do I have over there? No, there's nothing. So it was emeralds up top. Diamonds in the bottom. Yeah, but I got enough. And uh, what was in the bottom section? Oh, pneumatic servo. So I need more iron and redstone. Uh, I'm going to need four more of that. Do I have any? No, I don't. I have it in here, though. Let's go ahead and pulverize some of this here cobblestone into some glass. I'm going to need, I think of it was eight. Let's smash this into sand. As we do it like we do. Got that. Get ourselves another music disc playing. Let's do this one next. Mall. Nice. Kind of got our sand. I gotta turn the sand into the glass. Ah, no, I'm falling. I'll put, we'll put it in there. And we also need some more iron. We're going to need eight iron. Just gonna commandeer this crafting table. Put that like so. What was that? Did I make it? Yeah. Now we have the glass. Let's go out here and get our invert ingots. Oh no, I need a lot more invert ingots than that. Wait, no, I don't. I only need the one. Uh, I forgot. We'll just go ahead and craft all of it. Should be done. Yep, it's done. Three invert ingots. Eventually, I will automate the process of this as well. But until then, this is just going to suffice what I need. This is going to be like my main smeltery one. And then I have like smaller setups throughout the world where I can just have like a single tier. Good, three. Because I'm some carrot juice. Now, if you guys know anything about this here um, well-fed stuff, feel free to put it down in the comments below. And another thing I need to ask you guys is, um, should I have music playing in my videos, like from the Minecraft stuff here? Like, I'll put that in post-editing stuff, but do you think you guys think it needs music, or do you guys like it being quiet until random Minecraft music pops on? Feel free to put that down in the comments below and let me know. So now that we have our invar, uh, did I grab any out of here? Or not. Just do that and boom. And now we need our pneumatic servos, which should be on the glass. Put this across, and now we have pneumatic servos. Woohoo! Put this in the bottom here, and we have ba -ba -da -da -bum, four autonomous activators. All right, I already have one for the um, questing, but I think I have to manually submit those, so we can't do that. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you guys, but not yet, because we have to kill mobs with our sword first. I want to show you guys how to make the um, the mossy stuff. Oh, I don't know if I showed you last episode or not. Let's go ahead and throw our stuff away here. Put our dust back in here. Back down here. There we go. Now let's go ahead and come outside and put this down. So with the autonomous activator, you can right click stuff. Oh, that's kind of cool. Cool animation as opposed to the, yeah. So I think to break stuff, you need to left click. So what we can do is we can have our item ducks. Let's not, actually, let's not put it here. Let's go ahead and put this up again. Uh, Pickaxe. There it is. Cool. Yeah, I've been very careful not to lose this stuff. Oh, I have to show you guys something really cool, and I hope this works because yeah, I'm I'm scared to do it now, but let's go ahead and do it. Alright, so you see my see my pickaxe here? I believe it is immune to lava. Do I wanna do it? Do I wanna do it? You know what? Let's do it next episode. I'll let you guys put in the comments below. Should I toss my pickaxe, my awesomely awesome pickaxe of reinforcement to an Ardite mining pickaxe? Should I toss it into the lava to see if it will survive? I believe it will, but I'm not 100% sure because the Ardite is a pretty hard and tough metal according to the, the law of smelting. So, 
go ahead and put it in the comments below. Should I destroy my pickaxe next episode? Or, like, not destroy, but try to put it in lava. So, go ahead and put that down there below. So, until then, we can put this back up here. Actually, you know what? We're going to still need it, just in case we mess up again. Uh, I'm going to actually take up a little pause here, get some item ducks, get some other things that we need, and I'll see you guys when we get all that stuff. All right, guys. So, I think I got a winner, winner, chicken oh. dinner. Woohoo! All right. So, this is what I've come up with so far. So, I pipe items in. Oh. In, not out. Uh, I gotta change this to the output, to the input. So I pipe items in. It only uses the first slot. Oh no, I can't do that. I'm just gonna have to put down another autonomous activator on top then. That's fine. I'll pipe items in. It's going to pipe in the iron hammers, I guess. Let's do round robin. We'll just pipe in a whole bunch of iron hammers. It doesn't matter. So I get a lot of iron out of this process. I'm actually going to put another autonomous activator, see if I can get it without losing this, to my hoppers. I'm going to put another autonomous activator right up top here. So now this guy here will place the cobblestone. This other one. All right, I don't know what I did wrong, but it's it's working now for some weird reason. But basically, you put the cobblestone in here. Take an iron hammer, you put it in here. Do first slot only. It breaks it, places. Like so. Just go ahead and clear up all this stuff here. It puts it into this here hopper. Or it drops into the hopper. Hopper picks it up. Puts in the gravel, which is here. I'm just going to quickly uh, activate this here hopper. Put it on um, low. So now it's going to take all the items out of the hopper. Put them into this here autonomous activator, which is going to go ahead and sift through all of it. And I'm going to have a water flow up there, pushing all the items down into another hopper, which I'm going to go get from upstairs. I really do hate these here grid lines. And it's raining, and I press F8. Let's come up here, get the last hopper I'll just make some more hoppers later I also need to go ahead and get myself my bucket of water uh, buckets. where's my buckets I have too many chests um bucket where's my bucket I think it's down here nope bucket you down here nope I don't know what to do with my bucket I'm irritated. Oh, I'll just make another one. I got the iron. There you go. Now you just come up here to our infinite water source, which I have to make another one eventually, soon. Grab a bucket. Take some fall damage. Uh, chest. Chest, chest, chest. Give me a chest. I wonder. Oh. I thought I could make a slab crafting table that way, but nope, I can't. Just put a crafting table here, crafting station. We have our water, so we put the water up here. It pushes all the items down, which will then hit the hopper. Which means I also need to go ahead and block this up like so. And I ran out of stone, so we'll just put this here. So I'll push all the items into a hopper, which will then dispense it into a iron chest, or a chest of my choosing at least. So I gotta go ahead and just, well, no, we can put this down and rotate it with our wrench. Thanks to thermal expansion. Let's go get ourselves a chest, and let's go ahead and fill her up. And our input will be um, the output of the Agnix extruder, so I'm gonna actually move all this stuff over there. I think I can pick up barrels using some kind of uh, like wheelbarrow thing or wagon thing. I don't know what it's called. But I can pick it up with that. So pick up two of these. I think I'm only getting an iron chest for this, so I need to get myself a bit of iron. Let's go ahead and just get another block, because I don't know where my iron is. Put it around like so. Iron chest. And now we should be good. So if I just 
plop down the iron chest. Put the water back down. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a whole stack of cobble. As we go ahead and get this cobble, we're gonna eat some food. Actually, you know what? Let's get ourselves a bit of cobblestone because the hoppers, uh, the autonomous activators themselves have an, have an inventory, which is a very, very useful. So this place some breaks, which is awesome. I have just the cobblestone around there so, so that it doesn't go flying everywhere and break you. You guys have to stay. I might replace all this with glass so you can just see it better. But I don't need you guys here anymore. Can go ahead and get rid of you. Put you back down. There we go. Sweet. And now we should be soon. After I destroy this. There we go. That's better. I think I can open it just for half. Yeah, I can. Sweet. Let's put a half slide ball on top. And there we go. We have ourselves automatic breaking of the ore stuff and then what I'm going to do is eventually I'm going to have it go into auto crafting oh I gotta avoid um, flint because I have too much flint so how am I gonna do that uh, I can use a dispenser no it requires a redstone clock I can make a redstone clock no we're just holding the flint for now we'll figure out something flint I might put them into crates because yeah with the carpenter that'd be really cool now, if we do ever need to use it, like for the hoarding, I don't know why, but we can go ahead and do that. Iron hammer's hammering away. Now, as far as this, I think if I do round robin. Yeah, it still works. It's cool. So now it will just go and break whatever or use whatever to break. But only use items, so that's good. So you just go ahead and craft yourself some more iron hammers. Go ahead and do that. And we should, in theory, because technically, as long as we get one iron, um, where's iron, nickel, da, 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 copper, iron, as long as we get at least one iron ore, no, uh, no four, we get one hammer. So for each hammer that we have in here, as long as we get, uh, what was it, nine iron ore, we're covered. And then anything additional to that is bonus, which is what we want, including whatever else we get from the whole entire deal. So yeah, that is the uh, automating of the breaking stuff, or breaking of ores and sifting. I'm super excited for it because it took me so... Okay, let me look. Let me show you my statistics. My statistics for playing this game, one and a half days. The majority of that was all sifting through gravel. That's a lot of time. Just go ahead and just throw this stuff into here real quick. So through all that sifting, that's what I got. Now I just have to go ahead and get some automatic crafting stuff. I was looking up crafting, see what I can do for automatic crafting. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not all keen on doing the ME stuff. But if you guys know a better method for crafting that I don't know of, go ahead and put it in the comments below. And I'll definitely do that next time because I don't really want to do the ME stuff yet because I need a lot of power for that. So until then, this has been your host, The War Gamer. I hope you guys liked. If you haven't already subscribed to me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot by liking this video. If you click that share button on this video, it helps me out even more so because your friends see it and then they're going to get the same message from telling you guys. And then it's just going to build up a snowball effect, which really helps me out a lot. So until then, this has been your host again, The War Gamer 11. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.